Hi students, this video is about uh, creating a model in MySQL Workbench and uh, eventually uh, you will need to know how to do this in order to do your ER diagram okay entity relationship diagram right so I'm going to demo right so uh, basically the idea is that we do not physically create the database instead we create the relationship between some models then we use the features in workbench to uh, what, what they call forward engineer okay from the model to forward engineer to become uh, literally the database itself all right so let's begin now so first we start with file new model right so this is my model okay so I'm going to call it movie underscore review all right then I'm going to add one diagram okay so this diagram is added to my model right so the idea here is to uh, create a model which uh, should make it easier for you to uh, so-called envision the relationship between the various table all right so uh, we are supposed to create one table okay so we double click so we are supposed to create this table called movie and we are so supposed to uh, put in all these attributes okay so movie okay the first one is very important right so every table should have a primary key so what is primary key basically in essence is that this data for each record must be unique so in real life you can think of our NRIC or your student matriculation card number as the primary key to uniquely identify you all right so primary key primary key uh, not now means that in order for the database to accept the value when you put not now it simply means that you must furnish a value okay otherwise there will be an error okay and then auto increment which is very common it means that uh, we do not want to keep track of the running numbers okay we allow the database software to keep track of the running numbers so for, so for example if I add one record in without specifying the value for ID no problem because of auto increment the database will give the running number one then the second second record the database will automatically assign the number two okay and so on and so forth so next one is uh, title okay so vacha okay vacha to be 255 so basically what it means is that it can contain a maximum up to 255 characters so that's the meaning of vacha okay i'm going to put it as not now so you have to give a defense of why you uh you allow a column to be not now or you allow a column to be unchecked okay so these are things you have to to give an explanation when you are asked by your tutor all right so next one okay i'll just skip some because there are too many okay story so for story we are going to use text so what does this text mean it means that i can store up to one kilo bytes of data okay for this field okay so for story uh, we will just leave it empty meaning to say that I can create one record and there can be no data for this attribute and there will be no error alright so uh, I think the rest are more or less the same so I will not be label you with all the rest so we are done with the movie okay so let me now move on to the comments table all right so same thing click on the table to okay double click now this will be comments okay so same thing i have a primary key called underscore id it's okay to use the same key because this key is specific to the table okay so not now not now primary key auto increment okay 
and then another one okay this one is important okay this is the one that is going to link uh, link to the movie table okay so uh, in a normalized form right so uh, this one is going to link to the ID of the movie table all right so the data type must be the same okay so you can see that here is integer so therefore i must have the same data type in order for it to be able to link to the movie table so for now okay i will not do the i will not do the foreign key yet okay i'll just put not now okay then maybe i do another one uh maybe rating all right rating and rating is to be integer also all right so I'm done okay so now I want to do the foreign key now okay so I go to foreign key okay I give a name to my foreign key okay so this can be any name so let me just call it movie ID okay and this foreign key is going to reference this table so I'm going to double double click here and choose the movie table all right the foreign key is going to uh, reference this table and which is the column uh, which is the attribute i want to use to link because i i could have used this one or this one and this one so i'm going to use movie id right and here drop down are all the available uh, column that i can link to so what i want to link to is the id okay so i link to the id okay and we are done okay so we are done with the model right so this is the relationship okay that we have and over here i think we have to put cascade so what it means is that if i have a record so let's say it's the uh, avenger endgame okay and there are some comments for this event avenger endgame so cascade means that if i delete away that movie then uh, all those comments that are related to the Avenger movie should also be deleted okay so that's what it means all right so now I'm done with this one okay so I can uh, if you want you can save your model right save your model as can give any name that you want okay just save it okay yeah and since you have saved it then the next time you can always come to file open model and then you can open back your model all right you can open open back your model and you can take a look at your diagram the one that you have done previously you can go on to add in more all right or you can uh, put in some relationship or add in more table okay so now we do not have uh we we, we do not have the database okay so we don't actually have the database yet what we have is a model all right so this is where the forward engineering comes in okay so you choose uh, all right so you double click into the er diagram okay then you go to you go to database and you choose forward engineer all right okay so we are going to use by the same connection okay forward engineer press next Okay, so uh, there are some options here. I think we can just accept everything here. Okay, and then uh, yeah, we are going to convert. Okay, we are going to forward engineer from the model to become literally the database. Click on next. All right. So this is the SQL statement. Okay. So for your, for your model, the workbench is going to translate them to become SQL code. All right, so you can see the creation of the table here and then you can also see the 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 foreign key here all right okay so maybe at this point you can you want to save to the file okay you can save to a file okay then press next and then close all right okay right so actually what happened just now is that it has already created for you the database okay so you can see the database here okay and you have the sql code so 
if for any reason you want to delete away the database no problem so you can drop schema okay drop now and since you have the SQL code you can always go to file file open SQL script okay look for the SQL script that you have previously saved then press open all right and then run it okay so you will run the script one by one and you will get back your database okay so let's take a look now okay so I have the movie movie table all right uh, it's a little bit small so I'm going to put uh, Avenger okay story Avenger press enter uh, the next one I put Batman and the story is Batman press enter I'm going to apply so what's going to happen is that uh, I'm going to apply these two line of code okay so I will have uh, two records here okay so you can see uh, you can see the auto increment of the ID happening here right one and two okay next I will go to the, my comment table okay so the movie ID I'm going to link it to the uh, Avenger movie which is number one if you recall that is number one okay and then the rating I will put five okay then the second one it will be Batman rating one okay I'll click apply okay so I have, I have two record here I have two record here so let's try out the cascade uh, delete cascading effect so if I delete away this record here so if my foreign key is done correctly and the cascading for delete is is working then that then this record should disappear okay so let's try out so I'm going to right click and choose uh, delete row okay remember to click apply okay so now I only left one record so you can see here one record so if I go to comment right you can see that if I refresh okay the first record is now permanently deleted alright so uh, thank you for tuning in